keep that in mind. Like, I care for you. And I'm, I feel like I'm taking this a little too personal, a little too fleshly. And I should, and I should keep it strictly Bible. I should keep it strictly the word of God. Welcome back to one of the best YouTube channels on the planet. It is me or me in Washington. And today is going to be a quick video about four reasons why people change when after getting money. Now, I had somebody that I should not have been in a relationship with, should not have had situations with that once this person received a lump sum, not even a lump sum, once he received a opportunity to make more money, he kind of like trashed me, but okay. So number one, and you might be in this, you might be in a situation like this where somebody get a bag and they just start acting weird. I'm not the only one. I'm pretty sure been through that. So number one, preferences change all of a sudden. They don't like McDonald's no more. All of a sudden they don't like Burger King. Now they, they got to do Ruth Crisp and they Benny Hanna this and this and that and this and the third. All of a sudden their preferences of certain things change. They, and it's, it's not going to piss me off, but it's going to piss me off. And I just have to just be mindful that people are who they are. And I'm ha I'm happy that money comes into certain people's, you know, worlds and different things like that. Because it just shows the true character. It really shows what that person is. But all of a sudden, their preferences change. All of a sudden, they don't they don't like this or they don't they don't they don't like Walmart brand no more. They like they they, they need designer. They need you know what I'm saying. So your preferences change. You're not dealing with this no more. You're not even somebody that you you have a relationship with or a friendship with. A normal conversation. Not that you got money or not that the person got money. All of a sudden, they ain't got time. Their preferences change. They just don't even want to talk to you right now. So keep that in mind. Number two, their tolerance change. It seems like in my situation and I wasn't even being combative in a sense it's like everything was cool until it wasn't and then it's, it's, it's so beautiful how the money and the opportunity showed the true caricature or the true character of that particular person and their tolerance for me changed so now all of a sudden you don't want to talk you don't want to text you don't want to go you ain't got time for me and but you had time for years but now you don't what changed your opportunity changed the only thing in my opinion was opportunity but their tolerance for things changed now they're not answering the phone they don't want to talk you get on their nerves and i could just see the only thing difference was opportunity so the switch up is real number three they become rebellious it's just like they just rebel against the world they rebel against people that have their best their best interest at heart now if you're rebelling against the world and you you realize that it's a corrupted system that's fine but it just seemed like people rebel against people that they use that use that support them or that used to care for them. Like, how do you rebel against what used to be good for you? And the only thing that changed was your opportunity to do better. And instead of bringing that person with you, you just expect it's a possibility, depending on the character of that person. You thinking they're gonna bring you with them? In reality, you are gonna wake up and you are gonna be blocked. Just keep that in mind. They just don't answer the phone. Last but not least, number four, appetite is different. Like I said before in the beginning. All of a sudden, it's state when it was chicken nuggets for the last five years. And it's okay. It's okay. Let's, when you got an opportunity and you want to live better and do better, that's okay. But when you turn your back on people that was there for you when you was eating chicken nuggets, keep that in mind. Like, I care for you. And I'm, I feel like I'm taking this a little too personal, a little too fleshly. And I should, and I should keep it strictly Bible. I should keep it strictly the word of God because I'm halfway irritated about the situation. So I'll probably revisit this topic. Yeah, because I'm, I'm taking it. I mean, I'm more emotional than I than I need to be. So forgive me for that. First Timothy six ten it says, "For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil." And some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. So I do I do want to revisit this because I'm I'm like I said before I'm taking this out of an emotional standpoint because I'm very I just don't like being left and I don't I have abandonment issues as it is. And for somebody to get money or get an opportunity, especially when I got money, because when I got my bags, I didn't change, you know, not for the worst. I didn't change for the wicked. I, ch I changed for growth and prosperity and faith and exposing evil and darkness and different things like that. Like I still ate McDonald's. I'm just using McDonald's as an example. I'm still, I'm not above McDonald's, if you will. Like I'm, and then you got to realize money runs out opportunity runs out and it's so kind of funny how Yahweh performed it because it's like for example somebody got an opportunity right got a little bag now that bag gave them confidence to really do what they truly wanted to do which was lead person left if you will another person got an opportunity and it's like their true character come out 
and then they leave because that's really what you wanted to do in the beginning. You really didn't want, but you were pretending. And so I feel like money exposes the pretending. And I don't think it's because of the money situation necessarily, which it does bother me. I feel like I'm in life. I'm kind of going through like a storm and I'm just a little, um, I'm too emotional. I'm just thinking back about all the people that betrayed me, you know, and I want to smack you in your throat. Um, but that's not what Yahweh told me to do. So I will revisit this topic a little bit later. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Peace and blessings. Bye.